Hello, this is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on December 1st, 2025. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Starting out here looking at our sun as we've got these very large sunspots coming into view and some plasma filaments playing around here as these two are interacting with each other. I did put out a short earlier this morning showing the X-Class solar flare that one of these spot sunspots just produced. Looking at 193 angstroms, big coronal hole, which is now Earth facing, expecting our accelerated solar wind speeds to continue here over the next couple of days and as well more plasma filaments going to be keeping an eye on those over the next few days as well looking at another light here amazing images brought to you by goes 19 satellite mixed here with daily events worldwide as right now we have seven earth facing sunspots and a few of them have grown and came out of nowhere on the equatorial region cresting into view as I've been showing this week, 4294 and now 4299 are two very large and active sunspot regions. And look at these guys rolling in for the Earth phasing party this week. Wow, those are huge. Carrington size sunspot regions there. Space weather conditions level three radio blackout impacts expected. Solar winds are coming in at 440 kilometers per second. There's the X-Class solar flare, X1.95 to be exact. Here is our latest coronal mass ejection put into these space weather spirals from the X-Class solar flare from sunspot region that was not Earth facing. This was still on the backside, yet to come into view. But now it is coming into view. Here is a look at tonight's aurora forecast versus tomorrow's tomorrow and into the next day and the day after we're going to see these probabilities increase here is a look at lasco 3 showing wide spectrum cosmic energies leaving our sun big halo cme coming from this most recent x-class solar flare ar 4299 kind of snuck up on us we knew it was back there but so was 4275 now let's get to earthquakes here the past 24 hours a very low number for earthquakes i did put out an earthquake warning video two nights ago we still haven't seen a large earthquake reciprocating recently here a 5.0 earthquake adak alaska seismicity continues through that region and as well california but the swarms have ceased we saw three regions swarming there all th all around the california basin just a few days ago caribbean plate seeing small activity same with south america towards chile northern chile and southern peru quiet african plate and as well across eurasia notable 4.9 earthquake there burma myanmar and earthquakes all around the philippines as well ranging 4.3 to 4.6 4.9 and our deepest earthquake the past 24 hours or sorry largest earthquake the past 24 hours 5.1 there deepest being here 603 kilometer depth fiji so yet another deep earthquake with no large shallow earthquake to follow but stay tuned my friends and family this ain't over yet space weather events that are affecting us and as well the polar vortex setting itself up in the northern hemisphere get a lot of shrinkage when it starts to get cold in places that are cold and expansion in others having a look now at the last seven days for shakers and movers around the world take a quick moment to thank you for watching please don't forget to give a thumbs up if you're enjoying this information shared and prepared here with daily events worldwide heads up african plate i don't think it's over yet we're going to see some more eruptions and some earthquakes over the next little bit and as well north american plate up into Alaska. Cascades, Juan de Fuca Plate, on watch over the next 72 hours. Much love. Now let's have a look at the air quality forecast brought to you by active and erupting volcanoes. Kilauea spewing quite a bit of SO2 this week, and as well volcanoes in Russia, Japan, Mexico, 
overlooking Africa, Southeast Asia, Australia, notable regions through the Philippines, but no new major eruptions tonight. Notable plumes here through Central Atlantic. Not sure what erupted, but SO2 plumes coming out of the Central Atlantic is a little bit odd. We might have seen an eruption towards the Virgin Islands. And as well through Italy, the Mediterranean. Lots of sulfur dioxide emissions. Air quality is not great, folks, especially across the Northern Hemisphere. Hopefully all of this rain cleans it up. But we've got extreme weather racing up the seaboard, North America this week, and some very large low pressure systems right across the Hudson Bay is going to be ushering in a lot of snow this week, upwards of 30 centimeters of snow in some areas, 12 inches. Look at this long range forecast for Europe, big low pressure system there stretching right across the North Atlantic. Atlantic provinces of Canada will see some pretty extreme weather in the long range there. with Possible blizzard like conditions. And then the big cold high moves into play for North America and some big systems here race in for the long range forecast for the middle of November or sorry, December. So some big systems setting up for the long range. Otherwise, we've got two in the next two days. They're going to bring a little bit of snow across North America, but a lot of rain here and windy conditions all across most of Northern Europe. Iceland, across the North Atlantic. Continuing on here with world weather, overlooking Australia. No major typhoons. Southeast Asia. Possible typhoon developing in the long range, heading towards Thailand. Strong low pressure system locked and loaded in the eastern Mediterranean. And extreme weather through parts of South Africa. Otherwise, no major extreme weather events to report, but multiple days of daily evaporation rains as Australia moves into spring. Now we will look at the North Pacific as we've got strong and vicious lows heading towards Alaska all through the Aleutian Islands. Watch for high tide, strong winds and heavy snowfall from a lot of these systems that are coming through long range forecasts, eventually these systems that are coming out of Eastern Russia and China. Watch for them to race into the BC coastline, dumping piles of snow and for the middle of the month, some pretty extreme weather events across North America and Canada. Well, United States and Canada. Now let's have a look at our polar vortex upper level winds here looking at null school as it is still completely broken up doesn't know where the North Pole is. Huge high pressure ridge locked on the BC coast western continent of North America and some very strong winds that have developed all across the northern hemisphere affecting mostly Europe right now, upper level winds upwards of 250 kilometers per hour. Now let's just have a look at the upper level winds last year at this time versus present. This is what our polar vortex looked like last year at this time. Quite organized, but still strong high pressure ridge there. You can see it spinning not really keeping the, the vortex in centri centrical force. But now it's split right here. Right across Greenland last year versus this year. Winter 2025 set to be a long, cold, and very snowy winter. Much love, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the show. Stay safe and healthy, aware and prepared. Bye-bye now.